In the classroom, students with dyslexia are still getting left behind, despite the fact that the learning disorder affects 20% of people in the U.S. Without the right support, it can feel almost impossible to catch up. One local father's experience inspired him to start a learning program using artificial intelligence. The founder of Luca AI, Scott Sasso, and his son Luca join us now. So happy to have you here to talk about this really important topic that isn't talked about enough, I don't think. Yeah. So let's talk about how Luca actually inspired this. Yeah, so um, so we spent um, a number of years when he was young growing up, and you know it's really a hidden disorder. Most people don't realize um, what what challenges the kids their kids are going through with reading. So um, you know we worked with a lot of specialists, therapists, uh, reading specialists, and um, tried to identify what was the underlying condition and. It took a lot of lot of time for us to figure out what that was. Uh, Luca, how old were were you when we you finally like put a name to what was happening? I think I was around 14 in ninth grade when I totally found out I had dyslexia. And so, uh, walk us through what was happening through those you know 10 years of schooling. Did you feel at times like you were being left behind? Yeah, I was uh, struggling with reading a lot. I never wanted to read in front of my friends in class, and yeah. homework would take hours. And it, that should have taken five minutes for me to complete. And I think that there often people don't realize what dyslexia looks like. So for you, what does that look like? Uh, it's just me struggling with reading is basically all that it is. Yeah. Yeah, because I think that there's this misconception that it's you see words backwards yes. or, you know, I, I, that information was floating around for so long that we don't actually realize that it's just unable to comprehend sometimes. Yeah, right? it's really a processing disorder, you know, yeah. so, um, and it manifests itself in many different ways and there's a lot of different unique variables that each each uh, child goes through. So we're gonna talk about Luca AI, yeah. which is what you were able to create working together yeah. um, to help people. So we have a little bit of video, so tell us how this works. Yeah, so um, so what, the, what we did here was we created a system that um, allows the, the individual student or the child to actually identify what their areas of interest are. So for example, here you can see they're um, identifying what, what their um, interests are, as I mentioned, and then kind of selecting what is, um, what they would like to see in the stories as we generate those stories for, this, for the child. And so you generate these specifically for kids, and you were so kind to give us a great example of this. You created a little story here. Yeah. For, for me, for my family. Yes. Um, and, and it's so cool. I'll just read a little bit. Uh, it's, it's all about our family and Frankie being asked to read a bedtime story. And so it says here, in a magical corner of our city, right where the rivers create an island, there was an enchanted park filled with chattering animals. Among these animals was a brave group of critter firefighters led by a daring squirrel named Sparky. Much like me, Sparky and his furry crew were always at the ready to lend a paw when trouble struck. So this, and it's, it has our names in it. Yep. It's really geared toward the child who will be reading. Yeah, and that's, a, and that's exactly what we're trying to do is for dyslexic readers, they really don't enjoy the, the, the practice of reading. So creating more engagement for those um, readers is really important. So putting their names in the story, um, familiar names, their interests that they have, that's really what's gonna drive engagement and, and hopefully improve their, their reading. So you two working hand in hand, Luca, what was it that, that really helped you to start to progress once you realized what you had? Uh, back in eighth grade, I started reading four to five times a week for at least 20 minutes a day, which I think brought my reading level up a couple steps. Yeah, and working on this program, this is something that you think will help kids who are going through the same thing as you. Yeah, I really do believe that will help a bunch of kids with dyslexia get better reading. And so is there anything that you want kids at home to know about dyslexia? Because there are, there are so many who are struggling with this who maybe don't know their diagnosis yet. Yeah, uh, I would like to say that dyslexia is part of you. It's not all of you. You have to learn to work with it to mm -hmm. achieve your goals, which I found out through the hard way. Yeah, and Scott, talk about the, the process, you know, getting him the diagnosis, but also watching him in school that has, I mean, as a parent, it's so hard when you want your kids yep. to, to feel confident in what they're doing. Yeah, it, it, it's really a challenge, especially when you don't know what they're going through. Right, right. Um, so, you know, that was really a challenge for us, and, and, and it really became enlightening to me when I actually went through a dyslexia simulation. 
and then I and that was only a couple years ago and I, I really un became understanding of what he really struggled with. Is your hope is your goal to get this program into schools or just to provide it as a resource for parents at home? Yeah so it's going to do both. We're, we're mainly focused on parents first and then we're going to focus on the schools but we really wanted to build an affordable product that could be that can get into the hands of all the families that really need the support because that's really that's really who needs it. Well, Scott, thanks for coming on to talk about this. And Luca, thank you so much for being so open about what you've gone through. I think you're going to help a lot of kids out there in the similar situations. Great. Thank you. Yes, thank you. And if you're interested in learning more about Luca AI or enrolling in the program, we're going to have a link on our website at kdka.com slash talkpittsburgh. They are offering a 50% discount to our viewers if they sign up by the end of the month using the promo code KDKA50. We'll be right back after the break.